Hello, and welcome back to my journey from normal to Norway. Um, so it's Wednesday night, but now officially it is past midnight. So technically it's Thursday, which means that exactly a week from today, well, I mean tonight, hours from now, but still in exactly a week, I'm going to be flying to Norway. What? That's come so fast. I'm so excited. I mean, a week, a week. I'm going to be flying over to Oslo. I'm so excited. Um, I, I had a friend yesterday ask me if I was getting nervous. And honestly, no. I'm just really, really excited. I'm so looking forward to it. Um, I, I've been doing things the last couple of weekends to try to, you know, get a little more prepared. And I've been buying some things that I'll need and thinking about what I want to take with me. The actual packing will, you know not happen until, um, like the night before, because I, I hate packing. I procrastinate it every time. Um, I just, I'm such a neat freak and like everything is in its place and I hate taking things out of their place. Um, I love unpacking. Unpacking is great. I'm kind of the opposite of everyone that I talk to about this. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if, um, I'm opposite from you as well. Um, but yeah, can't stand packing, so I always procrastinate. I always put it off. Um, but I at least, like, I'm forming ideas in my head of what I want to take. So I know a lot of the items, and I'll, you know, over this weekend get an even better understanding of that. Um, but the actual putting of those items into a bag, that's that's not going to happen till, yeah, the night before. Anyway, but, um, so I've been doing some things, doing some shopping to kind of get myself more prepared. So I feel like I have everything that I'll need. Um, it's just kind of assembling all of it. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just such a big deal that I'm doing this trip at all. Um, I mean, <sighs> there's so many layers to that. Um, and I'm sure I'm going to be forgetting some of them, but, you know, one thing that comes to mind is um, that I'm such a dreamer. Um, that's something that I kind of, um, well, I think I naturally have in me, but also kind of like learned and absorbed as well from um, my life growing up. And, and so, you know, I've always been a dreamer, but not always been so great about um, taking action to follow those dreams. So the fact that like, this is something I've been, you know, dreaming about for two and a half years. Um, and, and I'm actually doing it. I'm, I'm taking it out of fantasy land and turning it into reality. That's a big step for me. Um, also the fact that like, I am not experienced with traveling, um, especially, you know, internationally or alone. And I don't enjoy like researching and booking flights and places to stay and things like that. And so like, this is really kind of pushed me out of my comfort zone and pushed me to grow in those areas. Um, and so just the fact that it's happening is a big deal. Um, the fact that I'm like financially independent and am able to pay for this trip, um, by myself for myself, that's a big deal as well. Um, so this is just like, it's just a big deal all around. I mean, it, I'm really kind of like, this is me showing up for myself and it's me doing something for myself and, and proving to myself that I can. And, um, you know, I just thought of something else. It's, it's me, it's another way of me showing myself that I'm worth it. So in a sense, I have not thought about this before, but in a sense, it's like, it's another act of self love, but it's, it's a big one. <laughs> it's a big one. I, I love that. I have not thought about that until this very moment that this trip and me actually doing it and making it happen is an act of self love. It's me showing love to myself. That makes me feel really good. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm sure there are other things and other ways in which this is a big deal, but those are the ones that come to mind right now, um, and, and things that just make me even more excited about this trip. Um, the one thing is that same friend that I talked to who asked if I was getting, um, nervous about the trip, she also said, you know, to not set too high of expectations, and I said, that's the part that I'm gonna have trouble with. Um, I, yeah, yeah. 
so I, I hope that I haven't built it up too much. Um, but even if I have, I guess I'll say even if it isn't everything that I have, that I hope and want it to be, that the fact that I'm doing this trip is still a victory. So regardless of how I feel about the place and my time there and coming away from it, it's still a victory that I'm doing it at all. I just hope on top of that, <laughs> that I can layer actually loving Oslo and loving Norway um, and having just an amazing, amazing time there. Um, so we'll see. A week from today, I'll be on my way. Oh, that rhymed. I don't know if I like that or not. <laughs> it sounds, well, whatever. It just is what it is. Um, okay, this is getting, I think, a little longer than I thought it would, although not nearly as long as that 35-minute video. Um, coming up, I do still want to talk about the how um, Norway came into my life, um, and I, I think I, I, I would like to talk about that before I actually go, so um, maybe that'll be the next video. Not sure when that'll be. I'm going to be a little bit busy here, um, but... I'll try to make it happen. Um, anyway, yeah, that's it for now. Um, I'll talk with you again soon. And as always, until then, hada.